We said or not, Perrin. <sighs> I'd happily tell you if you stopped interrupting my count. You've had days to count. Now it's time we talked about the price. <clears throat> Careful. This one's got friends in the Consuelo. In that case, I'll honor the original price. Consider that a discount among friends. Glad we could do business. Gilarde, 23 days! This is a new record. It is more than great. It is the successful test of my newest spell, Renove Miseris. Ark, just so. Kith have explored every mountain in the Eastern Reach, yet the realm of fish and leviathans remains close to us. It has been my dream to open these steps to discovery, to let Kith breathe as the fishes do. Or at least to let us use the air of a single breath again and again. Back home, they care only for profit, and there is little profit to be had in sticking your head in the glass bucket to watch the fish. But the Rawatayans, they have vision. They chase greater things than gold. So I go to work with them. So you do understand. But I can say no more. The Rawatayans, they have sworn me to secrecy. Sintere, but I had promised not to say. Neither do I. At least it gave me plenty of time to test my work. Yes. I have much to do. Many more tests to run before we reach Sayuka. A pleasure talking, Captain.
At last! I must go. Discovery awaits. Agrasima, Captain. Welcome to Sayuka. You are welcome in Sayuka, Traveler, as surely as the winds stir the sea. No, no, no. How many times must I demonstrate the proper way to greet a visitor? I say, I must have forgotten again. Will you remind me of the line, Undersecretary? We say clear skies, Traveler. Simple, elegant, and no smiling. Do you understand, Greeter Tebe? Can you repeat it once more? I want to make sure I've got it. Questions, Traveler? Sayuka, known to my people as Rubiri, is a colonial outpost of the Royal Deadfar Company. The island of Sayuka is the Royal Dead Fire Company's center of engineering research and development in the archipelago. Our work is directed by Fleet Master Okaya, the youngest Brawatayan ever to hold the title, best of her class at the Naval Academy in Tokoa, and a brilliant engineer, our Fleet Master. You forgot to mention the giant sharks, Undersecretary. Giant sharks, giant coral, giant trees, Hekira. The only thing not bigger in Sayuka is us Juana. Small mercy. No one knows why things grow large in Sayuka, but there are all sorts of theories. Me? I think Galloway smiles on us. Superstition is unbecoming of a Royal Dead Fire Company officer, Tebe. I say. It's a lucky thing I'm not one, then. Pekira, I wonder the same every day. Tebe learns to perform her duties as a Rawatayan might. Her fellow Juana show a lamentable disinterest in the proper way of doing things. Do not speak about me as if I am not here. A career sandal sniffer and busybody, so far as I can tell. You ungrateful sag! I am the second in command to Fleet Master Okaya, the governor of your piddling little island, and I will not be mocked by a smart mouth idler like you! So I have heard many, many times. You don't know the half of it. What was that, Greeter Tebe? Surely just the breeze, Undersecretary. You will call me Sir. Akira, I certainly will not. Oh, greetings. 
Might I help you with something? I suppose. I was a proud man once, a gold pack knight. Then I took a job and it... it went poorly. I could no longer stay with the Order after... that. In the years since, I have wandered the length of the dead fire, dedicating my life to self-discipline and abstination from worldly distractions. It is only through suffering that the soul becomes strong. Do you understand? Well, I am waiting for someone. But I do not know when they will arrive or who they will be when they get here. All I know is that they are a seer and they seek me. So I wait. I will not, but it does not matter. I have this amulet here and I yet draw breath. That is all I need. I should hope that you do, young woman. You would ask an old man to share his wisdom? Well, I suppose I could. For three thousand copper. Thank you, traveler. You humor an old man. Might I help you with something? I taught you what I could. You want a free education? Go join up with the Dawn Stars. Be on your way then. Artillery trajectory calculations. Terribly tedious and lamentably imprecise in a storm. Ah, but the numbers distract me. Where are my manners? You must be the watcher the Hazanui sent. You found me with a rare spare moment. Did you not read the name on the door before you came in? You do know you're in the office of the Fleet Master, I hope. Ah, you meant to ask why I'm important enough to have my name on a door. I'm a fleet master of the Rawatayan Navy stationed at Sayuka, a research colony of the Royal Deadfire Company. To one unfamiliar with the Rawatayan Navy, perhaps, but mine is an administrative position. I see to the smooth running of Sayuka. Of course, it'd be a sight easier if there weren't the coral to contend with. You misunderstand. I don't command ships. I command this port. Rawatayan vessels docking here are under my protection, but I don't tell them where to go. That's the Hazanui's job. Andra's mortar. Storms that strong, that consistent. I suspect they're not natural. I've received a report from the Dock Master stating as much. The Royal Deadfire Company appreciates your swift delivery of our cargo. Well, I've received a report from the Dock Master stating as much. The Royal Deadfire Company appreciates your swift delivery of our cargo. Why would she? You're a courier. 
In any event, the Hazanui's missive suggested you might be able to help us with an issue at port. Naturally. You may have noticed the outsized coral in the harbor. There's something unnatural about the coral's growth, about everything on this island. And no matter how we trim it back, it only grows larger. My engineers deduce that the origin of this disturbance is somewhere off the coast of Sayuka, and I'd like you to investigate. Talk to Avera in the workshop if you care to learn more. I would be grateful for your help here, Watcher. I hope your effort to resolve the Coral situation is meeting with success. Well? How much do you know of Rawatai, Watcher? So you have a scholarly understanding. That's not worth nothing. You'll find we appreciate the spirit of inquiry in Sayuka. And in Rawatai. Well, I don't need to tell you that Rawatai is a stern mother. Tempestuous and inhospitable. We have to trade for much of what we need, and the Juana have proven to be valuable partners. The Deadfire is markedly more... comfortable than Rawatai. The archipelago is also an excellent place from which to study the storms of Andra's mortar. How much do you know of Rawatai, Watch? I see. It's a challenging place. Whatever manages to grow in our thin soil, the storms destroy. The rough country, we call it. We have to trade for much of what we need. The archipelago is also a- How much do you know of Ra- I'm not surprised. You must see the land to understand the nation it's birthed. I believe that in my bones. It's a challenging- The- We have to trade- The archipelago is also- How much do you know of Ra- As you like. Do you ask how I came to my position, or why I pursued it to begin with? With a question like that, I might mistake you for a starry-eyed recruit. There's no secret to it. Just hard work, determination, a good deal of luck, and the right connections. A bit of ruthlessness can take the place of any one of those things, provided it's judiciously applied. No one's ever asked me that. I suppose I've always had a persistent interest in engineering. Even as a child, I was dismantling my mother's guns just to see how they worked. Then I met Karu. Ah, Hazanui Karu. She encouraged me to take my skills to the Navy. So I did, even though I had no obligation to as the youngest of my siblings. We nurture our keen minds in Rawatai, you see. We don't let them piddle away their brilliance on frivolities. The bright and willing are supported, mentored, respected. Is... is that... did she really say that? Pardon me, I'm not... I wasn't expecting. No one's ever... I suppose... I'll... Then I'm... So I did... We nurture... The bright and willing are su... No one's ever... I suppose... Then I'm... So I... We nurture... The bright and willing are support... Very well. That's a weighty question. It's a reasonable inquiry, I suppose. The Juana are pliant enough and willing to work hard when properly motivated. We have as much right to this land as they do. If they plan to do nothing with it, it's our duty to steward it for them. How can we make plans over the roar of cannon fire? We are too busy moving our families from bought or claimed islands. That's a... It's a reasonable in the Juana. We have as much. How can we make plans over the. That's a. 
It's a reasonable... We have as much... How can we make plans? They'll adjust in time. Besides, it could be worse. <laughs> they could certainly try. Every day, the wild coasts, the merciless winds, their lack is like a missing limb. Rawatai will always be there, and the work we do here, that's what matters now. Very well. You found me with a rare spare... Your orders?
Oi, Cap! There he be! There be Romoro! Sure is my ass be blue! I wish you'd not come, my lad. Pleased though I be to see you. Even Aldi's anarchists spare no mercy for mutineers. Aye, but you, a traitor? The very thought of it be ludicrous. Return with us. I'll be protecting you, and we'll be seeing your fair judging. I can't, Blue. Much as I loathe to leave. I'm dead to these waters, and they to me. Break my biscuits and call me Swabby. You've gone addled in your dotage, ain't you? Captain, unsheave that silvered tongue of yours and talk some damn sense into this old sort. The Principi have changed, and not for the better. Once, we aligned behind a common purpose. Now, we fractured into two extremes, each wallowing in its own corruption. I couldn't bear to remain, sheltered or no. It's a hopeless feeling, bearing witness to the slow decline of something I once held such pride in. There still be pride to be had. Honor, too. Things be changing, sure as shit. But you can't thread them narrows if you ain't even it to wheel. I hope I'm wrong. If only for your sake. I don't think the Principi can survive as is. And I can't watch something I devoted my life to sink into ruin. My crew... Those few souls who followed me from the Sorcerer and I set sail for lands west. The Reach, perhaps, or the Living Lands. Perhaps we'll run trade from Edir or Valia. Wherever fortune leads. But that be the far fucking side of Aeora. Ach, a journey and a half, to be certain. I've not heard every charge against me, but that of mutiny, of that charge. I bear guilt. Why? The sorcerer were our own in kin. We're our cock swelling pride. And you bartered it to an half drowned old elf for a pint billed fucking clipper. Fourteen years I spent swabbing them decks. Longer yet for you. Captain Bastion trusted you. I trusted you. Ach, bon ai mico. Sientere, Seraphim. I've disappointed you, hurt you. No words can justify my actions. I only hope you believe me that I did what needed doing. How can I? How did you, Captain Bastion, had the sorcerer slaving? Slaving? What kind of fathom headed horn swoggle be this? The sorcerer were my kin. They weren't slaving. I hunted slavers for the captain. We freed slaves together. So I also believed. But Bastian sold those we saved to the Crookspur slavers. I found records of it in his quarters almost a decade's worth. When I confronted him, it went poorly.
Sientere, bon amico. Forgive me. I meant you not to know. To keep your faith in our traditions. To remain optimistic. A bright star within the Principi. Cut him loose, Cap. Aye, he did the dead fire a fine turn by sinking them slavers. But among the Consuelo, mutiny means death. Bet Guanfera no. Agrasima, watcher. The clipper will be loaded soon, and then we'll be away. Cores, Seraphin. Bon amico. Take this. May you have rare cause to use it. I hope we meet again someday on calmer seas. Caress, Bonamico. Ahoy, Captain! Truth be told, I've not felt so cozy in a crew since my tour on the Sorcerer. With Romoro in the lot. Good times and an half, that. <laughs> Methinks me more crazy uncle than brother, but I appreciate your saying it all the same. By way of expressing my gratitude, I've a tribute to be presenting. It's meant to be worn by a great captain. I think you rightly qualify. And I think you'll look right spiff in it, too. Romaro gifted it to me when I took leave of the Sorcerer. He had this notion I'd make captain myself someday. Mayhaps I covered it at captain's quarters when I were a wee swabby. But serving with Ferrante, uh, with yourself, seeing what leading a crew takes... Well, I reckon it's like Marion. It just ain't for me. Now, for first, I've got less than an all-ins thimble worth of patience for all the politics, glad-handing, cronyism, and sycophancy that goes along with the Consuelo. But, mostly, this heart be twice as soft as this belly. Probably as furry, too. Now, mayhaps I could captain a boat like yourself, all even-keeled and kindly. But you're a rare sort, aren't you? Most helms could use a captain with a thimble of self-awareness. You have a heart as good as your mouth is foul, Seraphin. I've always had a way with the lasses. Pleasure be entirely mine, Cap. May it serve you at least half as well as I. Ahoy. You be boring a hole in me with them eyes, Cap. I'd offer an oval for your thoughts, but, uh, I prefer not to make deals I ain't got no intention to keep. I'd be fine, actually. Strange though it be. I'm not sure there'd be much to say, Captain.
I, uh, be appreciate that despite... You'll be boring a hole in me. I'll be fine, actually. I'm not sure there'll be much to say, Captain. Didn't feel at all good. What brilliant you are. Uh, sorry about that. Weren't fair to you. I, uh, be appreciating the sentiment, I suppose. I can. Much as I hate an honest word, some truths ain't for burial at sea. And despite it all, Cap, I'll be right glad to be serving with you. Yes?
I will not return to the Longhouse, Weto, never! And I won't blunt my teeth about it further! But what are you so stubborn? The Rowatians do us a great favor and you spit in their faces! What do you need? Not at all, not at all. My sister and I are just having a small disagreement. It is because you speak like this that I yell at you in the first place! You're beginning to sound like those Rowatian outlanders, and it shames me to say so. Ignore her. She has an urchin up her ass about her cousins from the north and can't be persuaded. I should know. I've tried. Is it so unreasonable to want to protect my culture, our culture, from our greedy neighbors? They arrive in ships laden with goods they believe will please us and think that gives them the right to build their walls on our land. Then, they act surprised when we don't all fall at their feet with cries of gratitude. Akira, don't encourage her. I will never hear the end. We are no strangers to the menaces of the Deadfire. Pirates, Colonials, Nagati's children. We have bested all of them before. We don't need them or their walls to keep us safe. And we surely don't need their longhouse. We are no strangers to storms. But last year we suffered many powerful ones in quick succession and our harvest of Kawiki fruit was destroyed. Price share was rationed, famine loomed, and then the Rawatayans sent ships, load after load of food, enough to see us to the next harvest. They could have left us to die, but they didn't. It was only a ploy to make us dependent on them, Akira. We took their food and helping hands, and now we sleep in their buildings and watch the sea from their walls. Under whose banner? Rawatai's? Then we cease to be Hawana as surely as if they conquered us. We have the land and resources Rawatai needs, and they have the military might we lack. We share a common ancestor. Why not create a common culture? Together we would be strong. I say, if you truly believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I thought. <laughs> Another of the Rawatai's tricks. When our huts were destroyed in the storms, they did not rebuild them like they were as we requested. They built this longhouse instead. Are you not one people? They said. Why do you live divided, each cast apart from the others? They believe they know what's best for us, but how we live is not their business. The fleet master says we are weak because we don't work as one. She doesn't see that it's our differences that make the Huana strong. She doesn't want to see it, lest it put the lie to their enterprise here. Akira, I don't need you to tell me as much. But I appreciate your support nonetheless. It is gratifying to be heard and understood. That an outlander could do this, and my brother could not, shames us both. Caught between the Valians and the Rawatians, we will be crushed. We need a strong ally to survive the coming years. What do you need? Indeed.
all the wonders of the sea, and more besides. What uh, uh, what can I do for you? Sayuka? Bit of a backwater if you ask me, but don't uh, don't tell the fleet master I told you so. This used to be where the fleet would send a person after they'd seen a fellow sailor blown to bits by a cannonball or what have you. That was before those mad druids out in the bog started sending bears and wild cats over the walls, of course. Let me know if you're in the market for something pointy. <laughs> Everyone's always got to ask. Not that I blame them. It is a good story. I was seeing this guy. Let's call him, oh, I don't know, Kono. Kono and I had been carrying on a while when I started making noise about wanting to move in. Frightened the boy so bad, he went and joined the Royal Deadfire Company in the middle of the night. Thing is, I'm a deft hand with a throwing knife, and I know my way around ten kinds of blades. So I followed him into the service. Pulled my weight, got on a good ship. Kono eventually left to go to poetry school or what have you. But I stayed. Haven't heard a complaint yet. Put your eyes on these. What did you find, Ishii? This area is strictly off-limits to non-company personnel. What are you doing here? Calm, Miko. Is this not the casita your Asanui said she would send? Praise be. The coral in the harbor is growing out of control, and we've found no way to stop it. We're at our wit's end. I've surmised that a magical disturbance must be the source of the problem. 
So far as I can tell, the most likely candidate is a strange magical signature emanating from some place off the southeast coast of the island, deep beneath the sea. The Juanas records show that an ancient Anguithan ruin, Signaf Mall, once stood at that approximate location. I do not doubt that something in that ruin is the source of the trouble. Perguono, take this. It is my masterpiece, Ak. <clears throat> the helmet should allow you to breathe underwater for time enough to deal with the disturbance, provided, of course, that you hurry. None among the company share your particular uh, history with Anguithan artifacts. You are, in essence, the perfect candidate for our exterior... our research. The Royal Deadfire Company thanks you for your assistance, Watcher. And your bravery. Aura Taugori! Hazanui demanded additional cannons. We must oblige her. We cannot spare the weight. Already the ballast is overtaxed. Increase the size of the ballast then. And store it where? Then we must increase the size of the ship. Take your concerns to the Valian. This mess is her responsibility now. Ah, so much to do, so few hours in the day. Just a moment. Please. Hope that helps. We're under attack. Hold them off while I tell the others. There's no time. I have to warn the engineers. Seraphim, I am glad that you were able to see Ramaro one last time before he left. Aye, it were worthwhile. Not that I ain't aiming to set eyes on the old sawbones again. Assuming the uh, captain don't get us all good and dead first. <laughs> Then let us work for better days ahead. At your service. Speak your mind. listening.
I've got this, Captain. Yes? Boy. I'll be chopping you to chum, chum. At your service. This will not do! I'll be slicing her stem to stern. Captain? Ashiza, strike! something. Thing. I've got this, Captain. Captain. Boy. <laughs> What's that?
Show me where to bite. As you wish. Oh, oh friend. the staff. Yeah. It is no use. I cannot get through. I'm listening. For the homeland! What say? Arthek Worth and Rough! At your service. Watch me, mother! Suppose it can't be helped. That's embarrassing. I am ready. Bemetong Swellias. Four cap. Your mind. I am ready. I feel weak. Captain. See that beauty of a hit, Maya. 
I've lost too much I'm water. Ashiza, strike! Yes, Captain. What can I do? I am ready. What for, Cap? something. attention. Tell us. Her party diminishes. Ashiza, strike! Yes? Chopping you to chum, chum. Ah. Your orders? Huh. Yes, Captain.
Absolutely. I smell conflict in you. Your story ends here. Uh, aid me! Speak freely. What for, Cap? Yes, as you wish. Aye. Right. Yours to command, Captain. Uh, certainly. Yeah, nothing oh, I can good. do. <laughs> you were saying? What say? I'm here. Yes, Captain. Good. What can I do? You were saying? You were saying? Four, Cap. I'm here. Take this.
I'm told you were instrumental in our stand against the druids. Well done. The druids have harried us from the moment we made landfall. If it is, I haven't seen the deed. Several days ago, I dispatched a small force to quell them, but I've heard nothing of them since. To be frank, I suspect they were killed. And I no longer have enough people to repel another attack. We Rauhataians are tougher than most, but we're engineers all the same. We weren't trained to fight. Given your impressive showing in our hour of need, I'd hoped I might impose on you with a request for aid. You will be well rewarded for your efforts should you decide to help us. Go to the bog where I sent my people. You'll find the druids' leaders there, no doubt. Kill them. Should you do so, the Royal Deadfire Company would stand in your debt, and I would be immensely grateful. It is not every day I meet a sailor who gives no praise to Ngati. Ah, she ain't sunk me yet, lad.
You cozy up to the awful vines. I'll find a way around. Be careful. Still as a pond. Careful. Look. I smell conflict in the air. You were saying? I've got this, Captain! Ah. Yes? Very well. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Captain? I oh, are, yeah, Captain. At your service. At your service. to command, Weak. Captain. Yeah. Oi. Well, be slicing a stem yes. to stern.
What say? Hmm? Yes! Yeah. Uh, I'm no help here! What for, Cap? Try to be keep it up, Maya. Ah. Uh. Your orders? Speak your mind. <laughs> Speak your mind. Watch me, mother! What can I do? What for, Cap? I am ready. Your orders? Something I hate's coming back up. At your service. Show me where to bite! Yes? Stand together! Madik! <laughs> uh. I need to try something else! Speak freely. Speak your mind. Watch me, mother! Hmm? Yeah! I am ready. Oh. Radico, I need to try something else. Speak freely. I've got this, Captain! Yes? Oh, good. Yes, Captain. Ahoy. Oi, Maya. Ah. Ten pounds or kill more of the bastards than you do. This does not agree with me. Yes, Captain. Hmm? <laughs> Captain, I'll be cleaving it to the brisket. Ah. I'm listening. Ha! <laughs> Have my attention. Watch me, mother. What can I do? Oh, good, Captain. You were saying? <laughs> Still got it. You have my attention.
be trouble. Cray, speak your mind. Tongaloa devour you. <laughs> ah. Captain? For the wrong and new. What can I do? Yeah! Oh, my friends. Tell me. Four cap. What can I do? Everything hurts, Savvy. Stand up, you dirty flea bag. Good. saying I'm here yes it true tell me
Captain. Speak freely. I am ready. I am ready. Of course. Speak freely. What can I do? Absolutely. Be cautious. Be constant. Indeed. Be cautious. Be constant.
I smell Cred conflict in the air. Your bones will save the land. Huh. Tell me. Oh. I'm here. I need to try something yeah. else. Oi. Speak your mind. Captain. Afraid not, Captain. We'll be hitting the water. Tell me. You need something. You were saying? Ha! Can't get a clean hit. Water. Boy. See that beauty of a hit.
can I do? Yes, Captain. to the brisket. Speak freely. Not a sound. Your every step fouls the ground. Why do you pollute this sacred place? The Rawatayan invaders trespassed upon our sacred ground and ignored our overtures. The fault for this conflict lies not with us. Why should we believe you are any different? Eloquent though your words may be, they will build no peace between us and the invaders. They or we must leave this island, and we shall not be moved. Leave this place, Watcher. And do not return lest you wish to meet an early end. Hold, friends. Doesn't the trespasser bear nature's mark? We must call her friend. You have proved yourself an ally of the Earth in the past. Perhaps you might be so again. Kill the Fleetmaster Watcher and save this forest. I knew you were a charlatan! Kill her! Uh, Yours to command, Captain. I 
Sultati. Your every step fouls the ground. Why do you pollute this sacred place? The Rawat- Why should we believe you are any different? Eloquent- Leave this place. Hold! You have proved- Kill the Fleet Master Watcher. What fun are calm seas? Only a fool sets sail and doesn't expect to weather a storm or two, trespasser. Decide now. Will you protect this place? Are you with us? I knew you were a charlatan! Kill her! You were saying? Coming back up. Uh, you need something. Really? Right between the eyes. Don't go to say how you only miss blood when it's gone. Stuff. <laughs> 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 
Speak your mind. Captain. Coming back up. At your service. Your bones will feed the land. Aye. Like I'm here to stay. You were saying? I'm listening. something watch me mother yes stand oh, my friends the stuff oh. i am ready oh. to command, Captain. 
Galoa devour you. I'm here. Oh, good. Tell me. Ahoy. I'm listening. Speak your mind. For Mother and Gatti. Savvy? You were saying? I'm listening. What say? <laughs> what can I do? Be constant. Happily. I hope your effort to resolve the coral situation. I hope your effort. Excellent. You are as dependable as I've been told to expect. Now we can begin logging in earnest. Regarding your reward, we seized a cache of weapons from a gang of pirates we caught sniffing about Sayuka. Of course, we only use regulation weaponry here, so I'd appreciate it if you'd take these off my hands before one of my engineers does something foolish with them. You found me with a rare... 